So how much of, because you interact obviously with a lot of people about this, mm -hmm. um, how much is this, does this, does the misunderstanding really come down to the basic philosophy that is still inherent in most people from post pumping iron? Right. And that's all a part of that, uh, what I call that institutional inbreeding. Yeah. You know, they heard it from this guy who heard it from this guy who heard it from this guy. They don't know any better. Nobody's taught them anything new, uh, fresh ideas. Uh, nobody's talked to them about safety and practicality. So they're still doing concentration curls and um, and military press. <laughs> so, but, but like, but now there's like, isn't there a, a kind of a new confusion now because of the proliferation of social media and all of these self-appointed experts that are online now, mm -hmm. everybody's got a, they're on this hamster wheel of influencers producing content, content, content. So now you've got this myriad of a thousand different voices and new terms and new yep. whatever's being, new exercise, new whatever being made up. So now the person is doubly confused. They want to be, get out of the bodybuilding thing. Right. And, and but they do don't know where to start. But they don't know where to so start. Much, there's inundation. And they don't know where to but, stop. Yep. And they don't know where to stop. Um, but, uh, and to be fair, there's also a lot of good information out there. Right. A lot of it's really good information. You got to pick and choose and, um, you know, take it in small doses. Right. Because other otherwise you, you can be, Come overwhelmed, yeah. completely overwhelmed by the amount of crap that is out there. You know, keep it as simple as possible. You don't have to have a ton of equipment and gear. I guess when it when the rubber meets the road, you have to be doing something. Yeah, you got to get the body in motion. Right, right. You got to get the gears in motion. You got to get the body in motion. Strong body, strong mind. It's got to be motion is lotion. You've got to get that that body move. So in a sense, because you used to train in a gym that was not just a regular like bodybuilding gym. It was a, it was a gym with the owner, a good friend of yours. It was functional oriented, it's functional and strength. And it was oriented. all fight centric. Everything we did, even if we worked weights and stuff like that, everything was fight centric. Right. So either fight centric or real world application, saving but your life. But now you're, else. you're, you're at home. So things have become even more simple. So working from the less is more mm -hmm. idea, yep. that really th throws you back on your own creativity. Yeah, and, and it's part of the process that I personally enjoy a lot. So I will come out, crank up the heavy metal, and I'll figure out what I'm gonna do. So I already have, let's say, you know, it's strength day. So I know what that means. I know that I, the objective is to build strength. Now let me come up with some exercises uh, and what I want to try to come up with is at least one new idea right? or a modification of an existing idea, just right. a modification, slight, uh, because I want to confuse the body as much as possible and I want to recognize as many voids as possible. Right, right. So, uh, yeah, the creativity portion of it is, for me, as enjoyable as the workout itself, if now, not more. Now, you said you play the first thing you do is you turn on heavy metal so you're saying you can listen to heavy metal when you're over 50. uh yeah i think it's it, it's it should be mandatory <laughs> mandatory, <laughs> mandatory metal workouts 50, yeah it could, back to the uh, motivation and enthusiasm again yeah. you know well you know uh, one yeah. of the great great story anecdotes that you shared with me was when you went out motocrossing with a professional motocross guy mm -hmm. who was going to show you some stuff. You'd written motorcycles before. You weren't new to right. that, but yep. you were going to do some, you know, some pro stuff for yeah, a while. Yeah. And what, a couple and hours? Just, yeah, this is just a couple years ago. Yeah. And I hadn't been hard on a dirt bike in a long, I hadn't been riding a dirt bike hard. Right. It, it, either way, it doesn't work. Right, 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 <laughs> right. My, my, you haven't my, been ridden hard. Yeah, right, no. yeah. <laughs> my verbiage isn't working either. Right. It, it, yep. I haven't, I haven't, you know, been on a track like that in a long, long time. And he gave me kind of a warning. He says, man, you're gonna be real sore tomorrow, by the way. And I rode a couple hours, and I mean, with him coaching me, um, next day, not a thing. Yeah. I didn't feel any worse for wear whatsoever. Yeah. Listen not, to that, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> he did not feel worse for weather. He was supposed to be super, super sore, but he wasn't sore. Do it his way. <laughs> <laughs>